Good afternoon, guys, and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces, guys. Today, I told you how I needed to be up early today, um, or at least try and be up early today so that I could try and be as productive as possible. I ended up getting up at like nine o'clock or something like that um and we left to go see frozen 2 today um and we got tickets for 11 30 so we had to leave by 11 o'clock so um i honestly think i woke up later than nine o'clock i think i was maybe up around nine o'clock but i don't think i got out of bed until probably closer to 10 o'clock <laughs> um so i only had about an hour this morning to actually like, get up and get ready and all that stuff um so yeah guys i was not very good about that um and honestly guys going and seeing frozen 2 was like so awesome um i saw the first one actually in theaters um it was honestly it was so random um this was too at the very beginning like i think it had literally came out like earlier that week um like and the, nobody knew how popular obviously it was going to be but um me and my friends were actually just shopping at the mall and i remember it was only just a little bit after um what's it called after um my birthday as well because i remember we went to the mall to go shopping and one of my friends was with us um she was actually like oh i didn't get you anything for your birthday she's like so let me buy you something because i was like talking about how actually the um the earmuffs that you guys see me wear sometimes in some of the vlogs like normally the ones right before i'm about ready to go to one of the football games um that like that bandana sort of thing um like that it's like a sort of like a wrap sort of you know like those type of earmuffs sort of thing um and so I can't think of the name of it right now guys I'm tired <laughs> um but she um ended up buying me that and so I know it was only shortly after my birthday and again like nobody really was like oh frozen like what is that like so I know it was still pretty early so I I'm assuming like it had just come out um like probably again within a few weeks of when we saw it um because like I said that's that's just barely how I was able to gauge it but we were actually out shopping at the mall we had no intention of going and seeing any movie or anything like that and we were like hey like let's just go and see this um it was actually between that and I think something else that was in theaters too and we were just like we took a vote and we were like sure let's go see that so it was me and two two of my friends and then one of my friend's sisters um and so we ended up going and seeing it and like I said it was like crazy going and seeing it like the that very first day and I honestly I didn't really realize how big and popular again too it was because like I didn't hear any buzz about it at the beginning um when we went to go see it you know and then shortly after that was when like everybody started talking about it too and like you know my friend actually when we I went to school I think that like next Monday or whatever it was um and she was like oh like I was thinking about going and seeing it because now everybody's talking about it and I was like you totally should see it like it's awesome um and like it's so weird guys okay that was when I was in high school right and everybody in high school was singing those songs like you guys think like it was just little kids singing those songs like no everybody in high school was also singing all of the frozen songs um so that's why like today um we ended up going and seeing it I was just like oh my gosh like it's just so crazy like again when I saw it how many years ago was that I don't even remember I don't remember what year it came out I all I remember was I was in high school so it was probably I'd either say maybe my junior or senior year it had to have been my senior year because one of my friends that was really big into seeing it I remember I didn't really have any classes there, and I didn't really see her a lot um my junior year so I think it had to have been my senior year um so yeah, but like I said, it was just, it was really weird, like not weird going and seeing it, but um, just like cool that I got to see the first one when it came out and then also the second one too, both in theaters. Um, and we only, it only came out like, what was it, two or three weeks ago? Because um, it was the week of my birthday. So yeah, it was like two weeks ago going on the third week that it's been out. Um, but what was actually really weird was we, like I said, went to go see it at 1130. Um, just because we were trying to go and see it earlier because Jack is still sick. Um, he, I don't really know what was wrong. Um, but he was like sick since like before last week pretty much um like he's been sick for probably almost over a week and my mom was like oh like he should be good to go back to school like you know he's just 
kind of got a cold sort of thing or whatever like not a cold but it's just kind of still hanging around a little bit and so my mom was gonna take him or let him go back to school today but she took his um therm he, she took his thermometer she had him take a thermometer and take his temperature last night um and he was still running a fever and so she's like okay well we'll take him to you know she'll take him to the doctor but but this was after we had already bought tickets because we were planning on the fact that he was gonna have to be picked up from school at three o'clock so we wanted to make sure we went early enough so that if we wanted to we could go out to eat afterwards um which was also what we were planning on doing and then like i said jack was sick so my mom was like well so we already have the tickets which they were only five dollars for tuesday i guess tuesdays the like theaters aren't very crowded or whatever so it's only five dollars um and so we've spent ten dollars to go see the movie <laughs> and um jack like i said he had to go to the doctor afterwards so that my parents could find the best timing to be able to take him um so he still he only i guess he has like a respiratory infection or something like that i think i don't really know um he didn't have strep he didn't have the flu i'm assuming it wasn't like bronchitis or anything like that or my mom thought it might have been um tonsillitis which he used to get all the time um I don't really even know but anyways they said like it was just he has like an inhaler thing he has to take I think um but that they said to keep him home tomorrow as well and then he can go back to school on Thursday and Friday which like I said it I normally I'm like just go to school like you know I'm sort of the one that like pushes them when my parents are on the fence about something I'm like if he's that sick like the nurse will send him home um I, I was trying to add my two cents in there um but like that's what like if I didn't feel good like I'd go to school and then normally it's weird because once I'd get to school then I'd be like oh I feel fine like sometimes it'd just be like that morning you know like you just kind of feel sick or you feel out of it even if I did have like a cold or something like that sometimes just being out and not laying in bed actually made me feel better um like my dad was actually joking around he said one of these guys that he used to work with or works with or something like that used to say you can either be sick at work or you can be sick at home and like being sick at work at least you're like up doing something instead of just like laying you know like you I feel like you feel worse sometimes if you're just laying around unless you're actually like you need sleep and stuff like that because you need to rest or whatever but if you were able to get like enough sleep and like you know you feel like rested and everything like that and it is just like a cold and obviously you're not pushing yourself too much but um you know sometimes stuff like that is like what is really like worse like laying in bed all day or like being up out at work like at least you're you're earning money <laughs> and like you know anyway so I would used to say that like you know add my two cents but yesterday when Jack came downstairs too his voice sounded like all like you guys know when I lost my voice and I had strep throat my voice was like completely gone like was that three or four three summers ago maybe or something like that um and my voice was like completely shot and he started to sound like that and I was like I hope he doesn't have strep like because I definitely don't want to be around him and like get sick so I've been trying to make sure <laughs> be extra good and make sure that I have been taking my vitamin c too so that you know there's one sick person in the house don't want to catch it um so he probably just has a virus or whatever but um yeah they gave him some stuff like I said like for his his chest and everything like that because he sounds really congested and it sounds like it's in his throat too like he's got like a frog in his throat um and like I said when I had strep that's what it sounded like but they did the tests and they all came back negative for what he had or for what he has is not either of those two things so at least that's good I guess but um yeah I am like I don't want to get sick and normally it's kind of weird though because I do feel like by this time um somebody else because he's been sick for over a week now um you know and I feel like normally by that time somebody else has picked it up in the house and you guys know how it goes it goes one person gets it then it goes down the line and it seems like normally everybody gets it sometimes you can be one or two people that get lucky and don't get it at all um but you know like normally it seems like it's Jack almost always gets it first and then my mom seems to get it and then Matthew a lot of times also seems like he gets it and then like it might be Matthew or my dad and then honestly I haven't gotten sick knock on wood guys where's where's something to knock on <laughs> since um I had the stomach bug last year for Christmas I don't think I've even had like a cold or anything like that which is pretty amazing because I don't remember being sick really in the spring I know I wasn't sick over summer at all because I was babysitting every day um 
I might have had like a little I honestly don't even think I did have a cold so yeah I think honestly it's been since Christmas that I haven't I haven't gotten sick since then and that wasn't even like with a cold or anything like that I had like full-on like stomach bug flu sort of stuff um and that was horrible guys like I never want to experience that again I have never like it had been honestly like probably eight years since I got that sick <laughs> like it was a really long time since I ever got something that was just that bad um I literally could not sit up without my stomach like just flipping <laughs> because that was how bad it was um and honestly to you guys I will be honest I think it's maybe just from like the dry air and dry heat and stuff like that in the house but <clears throat> I just almost couldn't breathe right there I was choking myself um do you guys have noticed too I've noticed in the last like two or three days though my throat has sounded like really like gravelly too sort of and like I almost have a frog in my throat and it's not I honestly think it is more from um what's it called um like the dry heat because I don't have like a sore throat or anything like that um but it sounds like I like I do or like you know if I'm like losing my voice or whatever and I don't know why that would be happening other than like I said it's either either allergies because my nose hasn't really been that stuffy though so I can't really say that um I feel like it's more from like the dry air um and like maybe it's just like that but like my nose has been a little bit like a little stuffy but I feel like it's almost always all the time because I do have allergies um and Matthew thinks he figured out that he is allergic to cats possibly um which I'm not allergic to the dogs like unless I have some super super like tiny little like allergy to them um that would be the only thing I could think of but I think it's just like like a dust allergy or something like that and you know a dust or mold allergy or whatever um and just like you know that sort of thing um but I don't like I said I don't really know because it is way worse in like seasonal allergy time um but I feel like it always just kind of lingers, lingers around for the most part like obviously like today other than my throat sounding really funny um like I haven't really had like a stuffy nose almost at all it completely comes and goes um so yeah but that's why I was like I hope I'm not getting sick and then I was like my throat doesn't feel sore like at all and I was like I don't think that's what it is so hopefully that's not it but like I said normally when somebody gets sick it just kind of goes down the line and like everybody gets it and I'm like I really hope it's not me and if I'm good and take my vitamins a lot of times that's how I think I I stay out of getting sick um so yeah anyways though guys I think this little guy wants to get to bed don't you Mr. Beep oh he's so asleep right now his eyes are completely closed guys I don't think you can tell oh oh, oh you'd awake now sorry I waked you up oh and the camera wasn't even on you I don't think <laughs> and Charles is Charles is very awake actually aren't you buddy Oh, you're so cute. You look like a little teddy bear. Oh, and this little guy's asleep. Um, anyways, I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So, bye guys.